loves, welcome to Bauer Beauty. I'm Jenny, your host of this YouTube channel, creator of BauerBeautyCompany.com, where you can find our skincare, our educational materials, and also we sell our skincare on Amazon, which is a very popular skincare brand on Amazon. Please check them out, all the links will be in the description. If you're interested in my work around clearing acne, you can sign up on the waitlist for my Clear Skin Blueprint, which will be in the description as well. It's my flagship course that I am working on and it's a monster, okay? It's a monster. It's for those people who cannot figure their acne out. And I was one of those girls and I've helped dozens of girls like that too. Okay, today I'm exhausted just thinking about what the hell I have to do in front of me right here, which is, it's actually at least like, I don't know, maybe a 20 pound bag. Yesterday I filmed my um, like decluttering my skin products, but today I have like everything else products. I've got my palettes, which are giving me anxiety to think about giving away. I have everything in this bag, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna get through in this video. It's kind of just like, you know, however long I can film and be excited about filming. The moment I start to get tired, I'm just gonna be like, bye, and it's gonna be a part three after that, okay? So yay, yay, and yay. Um, do I have other things to do today? It's 10 a.m. Um, I have a new coffee concoction. It's not really that revolutionary, but it's a venti Earl Grey, which comes with two bags from Starbucks, and then one pump of the honey blend, and then a little a splash of coconut milk, and then I added a dopio espresso. Uh-huh. And then I got home and I added more coconut milk and some more actual real honey. And I'm excited about it. And today I'm going to tone my hair. Maybe I'll film this video for you guys. I feel like I film the hair toning videos all the time, but I just get excited when I do it. I love that I have control over this now. If you're a girl who dyes her hair, or even if you're not, like you know how frustrating it is to have your hair a certain way and not feel like you have control. You know, and so I've, of course, Jenny Bauer has found a way to be in control of this situation because like this, you see this warm warmth throughout my hair. It's not for me what I want. I like a more neutral beige color because my skin if this is warm it brings out the red tones in my skin which is not something i want it's not something i seek out okay oh my god i'm avoiding this ah you guys so i have not moved out of state since 2014 i moved back to michigan and so from california and so that was the last time that i really like purged a whole lot of shit since then i've just been packing up all my stuff i mean of course i go through and do some like basic purging right but when you move out of state it's like you think about really shedding a lot and so yeah i just i i have accumulated a lot and i've noticed as i was grabbing these palettes out these palettes are from when i lived in my apartment after i broke up with my ex and i was in beauty school <laughs> getting my esthetician's license and i had to work another job and puffy was a baby he was only six months old this was in 2015 it's like so long ago so it's like I just feel like I'm closing out this whole chapter of my life and I'm getting anxiety. Like, let me pull out the first thing that I have. This is the Morphe, is this the 35O palette? Every girl has this. Every girl has this, right? I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm getting rid of this. You know why? Because at the time, this palette, the 35O, was revolutionary. And it still is kind of amazing that I think it's around $30 or $35 for for like back in 2015 when we were all getting into makeup, we all needed stuff like this because we didn't know about blending. We didn't know about, you know, that you needed multiple shadows in order to create a blended look. And so, you know, before like freaking YouTube beauty bloggers. I didn't know why you'd even ever want lighter shades. It's like, why would you do that? Just get like the shade that you want. No, you need a variety, a spectrum, so you can make like an airbrushed look, right? So I think every girl needed this palette back in 2015, but it's like, we've come so far with makeup and um, even individual shadows are just more blendable now. And uh, I haven't actually used this in so long. I just put a towel down and that was a very responsible thing of me to do. So yes, I am gonna get rid of this. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice to keep it as a keepsake. Like, I'm really just holding on to it now, like as a hoarder, like for the memory of it, for the emotional connection to it. And so, I don't know. Oh no. Same with this one, like this would, Make me really sad to get rid of. This is the Kat Von D 
Mi Vita Loca palette. Like, oh my god, this palette, which clearly I barely ever used, but I, when I used it, I used it. And I, I love the black in here, and I loved the warmer colors in here, and I like the greens. Oh yeah, the dark brown is nice. I don't know, there's, there's some nice colors in here. But at this point, it's like I'm really just holding it out, holding on to it for keepsake. And I actually don't know what I want to do about that. You know, sometimes it's like when you're a collector of makeup, it's fine to be a collector of certain items, right? You shouldn't just always get rid of things just because you're frustrated. But you should, you should consciously make decisions to keep things. You shouldn't just default to hoarding things. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I have to think about that. I have to think about what I'll do with this. I just think it's such a beautiful palette and it might be worth keeping whereas this it's like factory made this is more like I don't know it's just kind of beautiful next is a palette I'm obviously keeping and I'm bringing to Florida right away this is my favorite highlighter palette the Jaclyn Cosmetics um, flash palette and so this is like must be packed in my suitcase coming with me immediately to Florida but this is kind of just a funny ass joke Okay, so you guys remember Z palettes, right? I think Z palettes out of business now. But I bought this Z palette obviously a hundred years ago, and then I bought this blush which I I never used, and then I put it in this Z palette that I never used. Obviously, I'm gonna get rid of that. I don't remember that blush being nice. Okay, this is Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. I personally don't need this. Period. I do not need this. I mean, I have so many setting powders, and they're actually. It's nothing wrong with it. It's just like, I don't know. It's like, I can't really go through this many. And I, I don't know, I already have so many. I have at least three I can think of that are just as full as this one. So it's like, I, I don't need that one. Okay, exhibit A, my Rare Beauty setting powder, which I really like. This is actually the first one that's nude that I have. See how it's nude? Yeah, it's nude. So all the other ones are translucent. This one has like a tone to it and I really like it, but I'm not worried about bringing this like immediately. It's going to get packed, but I don't need it packed in my suitcase. Okay, next, this palette I'm keeping. Actually, I can already tell you that I'm keeping this because it's a really nice palette and it's small and it's useful and the color palette is gorgeous and I've used it semi-recently. This is a Tarte palette called, fuck is it called? It's called Be You Naturally. And I'm actually obsessed with this palette. I love the neutrals in here. Freaking gorgeous. I love the warm shades. I love the dark brown. I love the copper. I mean, it's a slam dunk for me, but I don't need it right away. But it is coming with me. Okay, next is a palette I will keep. It's not like I use it frequently. It's a Pat McGrath palette. And I don't use it frequently, but it's nice and it's compact and it's lightweight. And it's, it's a nice highlighter palette. So the issue is like... It's not super natural. This has like a pink undertone. And then this has like a yellow undertone. See? And then this is obviously not for my skin tone on my skin as a highlighter, but you could use it as like an eyeshadow. But either way, like none of these tones are like suitable for like a daily highlighter. I mean, look at those compared to my Jaclyn palette. Like for example, this is my ideal that's my ideal daily highlighter shade. Do you see how none of these like are really suitable in terms of the undertones or the tones that they use? But it, you know, if you mix these two, this pink and this yellow, it comes out to kind of like a nude look. And I just, I'm not ready to say that I'm, I don't want this palette, but I don't use it really that often. So I will pack it. I will pack it. Oh my God, I would never get rid of this, even if I didn't use it anymore. No, 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 no. The Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Literally, who doesn't own this palette? Who really doesn't own this palette? For, the, for I mean, I'll be shopping like on a regular basis and I'll be like, oh my God, is that the Renaissance Palette? And I'll be like, oh my God, it is Modern Renaissance. It's like, it's such an iconic freaking palette. Like there was not a better palette, especially for the time period. Like the time period, like we got obsessed with that warm, like really rich, warm color palette and modern renaissance came out and like it's just fucking insane and the nude is insane and the dark brown is insane and like the colors are just so pigmented and insane and it's just like i mean obviously i'm bringing it but it doesn't need to be packed right away it's not an urgent need 
Okay, next, well, obviously I'm bringing this. This is like one of my favorite blushes at the moment. The Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. This color kind of conforms to your own natural tones somehow. It's magic. Wow, look at that. It's stuck. I like wiped it off and it's stuck. This is from the Modern Renaissance palette. So this was like famously the blush that Kylie Jenner uses and went viral on TikTok. It's sold out everywhere, blah, blah, blah. I actually really love it. And I'm going to bring it to Florida like right away. Right away bringing it. Okay, this was um, Hourglass, their holiday collection. And I, this is the palette I liked. They sent me two. I can't find the other one right now. I forget if this was the one I liked or not, but I do like this palette actually. I'm going to keep it. It's nice. There's some nice shades in here. I like Hourglass, like powders and stuff. So I will, ow! Oh, the main issue with me for this is the, I always want to say ergonomics. I don't know if that's the proper word, but like the user friendliness of this is it's impossible. Like, yeah, I'm, I, I'm missing a nail. So it's easier for me to get in here and open this, but I'm telling you, there's no way to open this. This is a strong magnet and there's no like leverage. You have to like really stick your finger in it. It's not good. Whoever made this, like, I don't know, maybe a man made this. We don't fucking know. We didn't do a good job. That's my one complaint. Okay, next. Oh yeah, I'm keeping this. I'm definitely keeping this until I die. The Nude Palette by Huda Beauty. So stunning. Such a work of art. Gosh, this brings me back to the days when I had no money. Because I remember, I think I, I bought this with my birthday money. I mean, what the literal fuck? You know, it's like I just, now I don't even think about stuff like that. I don't even think about things like that. Like if I want something, I just buy it. And 99% of the time, like it's, I'm buying it with my business account. Unless I forgot my business card. I don't receive much from YouTube, but I do have YouTube ad revenue now that I can reinvest and buy products. And I get some sponsorship money here and there or whatever. And I always just reinvest the money because it's not like it's a lot, a lot. So I'm just reinvesting the money all the time. And I get to just buy whatever products I want for the most part. And like this, I bought in 2019. It was April of 2019. And I remember I got let go from my job in March of 2019. And then I was really sad and didn't know, and I was really scared and I didn't know what was going to happen. I just wanted this palette so bad for months at that time. And I just remember my birthday's in April and I bought it with my birthday money, I think. And like, it's just the most gorgeous palette too. Like these colors are fucking insane. It's a work of art. It's a work of art. It's a neutral work of art. Even these glitters and stuff, like they're just revolutionary. They're very interesting. Even though I don't really use like those glitters that much. I do use them a little bit, actually. I'm looking at the palette now, but my most used shades are like this one, this one, this one, that one, this one down here. These are like sick, amazingly nude, sick nude type of color, you know, like nudes are all not created equal. We know that, right? It's definitely not something I need to pack and fly with. Limited space, you know? So next, my Chanel bronzer coming with me, immediately coming with me, yes, immediately, yes, immediately, yes. There's not another bronzer like this, especially in hot climates. Like, you need a bronzer that's a little bit more. For me, I like cream bl bronzers, cream blush in warm tropical climates. Like, definitely, without a doubt, because I'm not, I'm already a greasy bitch. I already have oily skin. It's like, no, we, we are bringing this. It's mandatory. It's also the perfect color if you are pale. When I have a self tanner, I feel like I need something a little darker. But when you're pale, honey, there's nothing better. Speaking of a little darker, Huda Beauty's cream bronzer in fair. This is fair. I mean, this is fair for who? This is dark as fuck. And it's amazing, by the way. It's amazing. It's that more brown bronze versus, I will show you, the Chanel one is more of like a suntan Wow, I can't even get my finger in here because my nail is in the way. Okay, so that's Chanel and that's Huda. Okay, so Chanel is more of like a sun-kissed natural, like almost like an orangey glow. Um, and then this is like a deep, dark, I was in the desert bronze tan. And that's amazing. I freaking love that. I love that product, but it's not, it doesn't need to come with me immediately. It doesn't need to come in my suitcase. Because if you guys are just new to watching this video, maybe I should have explained this, but I'm relocating, but I'm relocating. I only have a place for five weeks initially to, while I look for a permanent place. So I need multiple piles because it's like I need to pack my things that I'm going to bring eventually, but then I need to pack a suitcase to go for the first five weeks. You know what I mean? So yeah. Next. Oh, fuck this product. Um, I'm definitely getting rid of this product. Uh, what is this? A blue eyeliner? Some things I have in here. I'm just like, Jenny. Oh, it's worse than a blue eyeliner. It's a blue crayon. Okay, I mean, it's a beautiful, vibrant blue crayon, but should I put it on? I kind of want to put it on just to see what it would look like. 
Am I gonna regret this? I'm totally gonna regret this, right? I just feel like against like my brown eyes, it might be kind of pretty. Maybe I'm talking too much shit about this. Maybe I need to try it. Should I put it in my try it pile? You guys remember when we used to wear this color? This was the most popular color growing up. Everyone wanted blue motherfucking eyeshadow. I'm gonna try it. I forgot I need a third pile. So that's the I need to try pile. <clears throat> Next is a palette that I would say I think I should keep it. Maybe I should give it away. Maybe I should get rid of it. Can you guess what this palette is? This palette was one of the most popular palettes and it was at 2015, 2016, that era. A lot of my makeup actually comes from that era because that's when I got into makeup. Um, a lot of these palettes, back when palettes, I feel like palettes had a moment and they've had less of a moment. Maybe it's because of 2020 or maybe we're just sick of having so many damn eyeshadows. We want more quads or cream individual shadows, you know, just to like accent our collection versus build our collection. Cause you know, back in the day we were building a collection. So you need a foundation. And so it's like, I just don't go for palettes clearly that much anymore. But anyways, the Too Faced Peach Palette. Yes, this is the Too Faced Peach Palette. It still kind of freaking smells like peaches, which kind of reminds me of my Polly Pockets or my Barbies. I'm not mad about it. Kind of want to keep this. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of iconic. I definitely am not going to use it, but I love it. And so I'm, I'm going to consider keeping it. Okay. I gave you Morphe. Okay. I'll get rid of at least a couple more palettes, but can you tell I'm keeping all my palettes? This isn't working. This isn't working. Okay. Next, this Dior setting powder. Meh. Anticlimactic. I mean, I did like it at first, but I don't know. I always go back to the loose powder, loose setting powders. See how it's formed this film on top and I'm afraid of it now. I'm not giving it away. I still, I still am definitely keeping it, but it's not an urgent need. I feel like I just don't use it. It's like every time I need a setting powder, I go for my Mac mineralized skin finish. There's nothing else in the universe that compares to it. Like, yes, this one, the Dior is good. Dior backstage is good. Yes. Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder is good, which I'm sure we'll get to in a moment, but it's just nothing really compares to the MAC Mineralize. And so I just like to go with what I know for a fact works most of the time. I do not like to experiment with my makeup. Skincare is kind of a different story sometimes, right? Um, I brought a towel for my bed and I'm getting a new duvet anyways before I move because I need a clean one. So fuck it. Okay, next. Oh, the other hourglass palette. So this was the other hourglass palette that they sent me. This was actually the darker version. I don't think I used this one as much. I think it was the other one that I used more, but I'm still going to keep it. It's so nice. Is this not going well? I've gotten rid of two things. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot I'm supposed to be getting rid of shit. Oh no. Well, by the time I get to the end, we'll make a final decision. Okay. okay. Next is a palette I'm actually going to get rid of. The Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance. I think I'm going to give this to my friend because she needs a blush palette and I just do not use this. It, it's so pigmented. I just don't even know what to do with my life. Like it's way too pigmented for me actually. And like none of these colors actually match my skin tone very well. I think I, I wound up pulling the trigger too soon and I bought the wrong palette or something I don't know but my girlfriend is cool toned and so she might like these we gotta see but I think I'm definitely giving that away perfect we gave one thing away congratulations oh no I'm not giving this away do you know why I'm not giving this shade and light palette away because I fucking still use it and you know what I especially use it for to fill in my hairline when I have a ponytail in like oh my god these are the perfect colors to fill in your hairline I don't use it for any other purpose but I'm not getting rid of it okay I'm gonna consider getting rid of should I consider getting rid of the peach palette? This is my number one question. Maybe. Okay, I might consider it. That's all you can talk to me into. Okay, I will get rid of this. I think I will get rid of this. This is the Anastasia World Traveler. I mean, this is a very nice palette though. This is a very, very nice palette, but I guess I just don't really use it. Oh, you know when you, you see these and you're like, oh, I'll use it, I'll use it. Like, you know, I just, I have warm shades. I have to make some tough calls. I barely used this clearly. It's gorgeous. There's nothing wrong with it. Nothing against it, but I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not going to look. I'm just going to say no. Just say no. Okay, this is the palette that I use every day. This is my Z palette. It's my custom blend of shadows. It's, uh, I think it's a mix between like MAC and Makeup Geek. Like my favorite MAC shades are in here. I do not fucking use this green shade. I do not use this green shade, but it's in here. Okay. 
I need to get rid of it probably and replace it with something. But yeah, I'm most frequently using copper ring or one of these two brown. Obviously, I blend out with that. Uh, this is antique, antiqued, uh, one of my favorites. Like It's like my favorite MAC palette. I'll, I'll bring it in my suitcase, actually. Okay, this is a product I never used, clearly, because it's still closed. Um, Erin Dugis. I don't know how to say her last name, actually. She used this as a freckle pen, and I'm afraid to use it. So basically, you go like this, and like it sprays freckle, freckles on you, but I've never used it, but it doesn't matter because I'm definitely gonna bring it in, definitely gonna use it. I mean, imagine me in like a tropical climate, maybe I'll want freckles then. Do you know what I mean? Okay, this I'm definitely getting rid of. This is, I told you with the Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance like launch, I think I bought the wrong color. So this is a blush called Royal Flash and it's clearly not the right color for me. Those cream lip, those cream blushes were pretty nice though. Very pigmented. Okay, this is It Cosmetics Brow Power Filler. This is actually kind of a very innovative and interesting product. This is the shape of the brush and you're supposed to just, and you're supposed to just use the brush to kind of fill in. It's very messy, but it's very interesting because you can get big bushy. You can fill in all the areas in kind of like an imperfect, very natural looking way and then clean it up with a concealer brush. I really liked this. I'm not mad at it. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not feeling this, this product. It Cosmetics Bronzer. It's just that I... I know it's kind of orange. I just already know it's kind of orange. It's that one right there. Um, and it's actually very nice though. <sighs> so annoying. So annoying. So annoying, I don't know what to do. Is this Rare Beauty Mascara? I don't fucking know actually. I've never used that. It's getting frustrating. Oh, I found something I'm giving away, yay. This is by Butter London, a palette by Butter London. Beautiful package, beautiful colors, never used it. Literally, I don't think I used it once. Good times. Okay, this is a mascara that I can get rid of because it's old and it's garbage. Uh, this is the Falsies Push Up Drama by Maybelline. I talk about this a lot. No need for an expensive mascara. You can go get this because this is one of the best mascaras that's ever been created. This brush, it's like a silicone brush. This is a silicone brush and this is different than a bristle brush which is like this a hairy brush do you know what i'm saying like brushes bristles that you would brush your hair with like the ones that are bristled versus the ones that are pokey does that make any sense this is garbage i'm just gonna put that here for now i don't know there's like now i'm mixing my giveaway stuff with my with my garbage stuff that makes me really mad fuck i have too many things i have too many things I have too many little things in here. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start grabbing the big things. Okay, this is the Luminous Powder by Jaclyn Cosmetics. Brighten up. I absolutely love this, actually. Talk about an amazingly natural highlighter. So it's powder. And where shall we put this right here? It's a very beautiful, natural powder that makes you look like you have that glow. Just like natural glow to your skin. Do you know what I mean? And it also has mica in it, so it blurs the texture. It's really nice and... I'm obviously not getting rid of it, so should I get rid of this? I just feel like I'm bringing too much. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Maybe I don't need this one. You know, I never used this. I never used this ambient lighting palette. Like, why am I keeping it? I'm keeping it just because it's new, and I think that one day maybe I'll use it. But I just, these colors are not suitable for me. Like, maybe as an eyeshadow, I might be able to use this one as an eyeshadow. Like, it's really kind of pretty. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, but I must do the other one now. I must do the other one now. No, because it's too much of like a yellowy color. Oh my God, this is very stressful. First instinct makes you the star, get rid of it. Get rid of it, first instinct. Okay, my, maybe my first instinct was to keep it, was it? Was my first instinct to keep it? I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I really want to downsize my stuff. Okay, I'll get rid of this bronzer. I, I can go out and find a new bronzer that I'm more passionate about. Here's the thing. I don't want to keep something out of duty. I don't want to do anything out of duty. I want to do shit that excites me. I want to keep things because they make my life better. I want to keep things that make me say, fuck yes, I'm excited to use this. Do you know what I mean? And sometimes this is like 
part of like the hoarding mentality or whatever. This is like, sometimes we get into this mentality of like, oh, well, I should keep this because of X, Y, or Z. Maybe I'll need it one day. And it's just like, I, I, I'm over this mentality. I'm over that mentality. It's like very stressful. Okay, this is the GOAT MAC Mineralized Skin Finish that I was talking about before. Do not look any further if you want a setting powder. And when I say setting powder, I do not mean I set my under eye with this. I do not set my foundation with this, no. I apply this after my fix plus, and I have it in two colors. I have medium plus and light plus, which I think is a little too light, and I think this is a little too dark, so I probably need medium. So this is the most perfect setting powder in the universe. So what I do is I spray my setting powder after I'm done with my makeup and then I apply this with a big powder brush. I just set like anywhere that would have texture or blurred lines or anywhere you want to blur the lines or anything. It just kind of airbrushes the shit out of your face. And it's amazing and I definitely need probably both immediately. Okay, my camera overheated, I had to take a break. Um, all right, where are we? Oh, the mini controversy palette. I actually really like this and yeah, I'm going to keep it like I love these two colors and I'm all for these smaller palettes. I like them. LA Colors Brow Gel, bitch, just we're just going to get that. Okay. Here's the other freckle pen that I have in just a darker color. So I'll definitely bring that. P Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. I really like this for a casual day. This brush is dope. Interesting shaped brush brushes with silicone bristles. Love that. But do I need it right away? Maybe I will bring it. I'm deciding. I'm still deciding. Next, Voluminous Mascara in Burgundy. Love it. I just bought a new one. I really like it. Do I need to bring it? Hmm, that's a good question. Probably not. Okay, this is a cream blush by Burt's Bees. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't know if I ever used it. Uh, the color is just too right there. It's just too rosy for me actually. And I just don't like it. Okay. This Charlotte Tilbury blush though, obsession. This is their cheek to chic blush. And this is in ecstasy. It's my favorite shade that I've tried. And it's one of these. It is one of these that I'm not getting rid of. Yep. It's actually coming with me. You know, like the products that you love the most probably look like that because they've been used and abused. It's funny how things get like that. Next is a primer actually. I really do like this primer. This is by Peach and Lily, the Skin Shield Blurring Primer. I do like this. It kind of reminds me of the Rare Beauty one a little bit, just in the way it performs. It's like a thick, creamy consistency. It does blur. I mean, it does blur and stuff and leaves you like very dewy. It's just like, I just don't go for it because it's just not my highest performance one. Yeah, I don't, I just don't really care for it ever since like my primers are like the hourglass primers are the best. And so I just always reach for the best. And I do like to experiment. Like I have tried this and I do like that it leaves you looking dewy and glowy, but I don't think I need this. I'm not gonna lie. I think, oopsie. I think when you keep things out of obligation, back to that little speech, when you keep things out of obligation, it also prevents you from actually seeing the things you like. It's the same thing with wardrobe. It's like, you know, when you have a bunch of clothing that you feel like you should keep because you might use it or you might need it, then you don't even see the things that you love and you're excited about. And it crowds that. So hourglass veil mineral translucent setting powder. Yes. It's getting packed, but it doesn't need, it's not an urgent need for me. Charlotte Tilbury legendary lashes. Yes. I mandatory need this. That is like the perfect, although that one's almost gone actually, but that is like the perfect mascara for like making your lashes look fluttery and, and fluffy. Do you know what I mean? Getting rid of this for sure. This feels great. The e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. I probably tried to use it a couple times, but it's not, it just has like a little bit of glitter in it. And I didn't like the e.l.f. Putty Primer to begin with. If it's a dupe or not for the... Tatcha silk canvas. I don't know because I don't like that either. So apparently I'm just not in the vibe with those. This It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Primer. I mean, Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Bitch, I've never fucking used this in my life. I don't think I've ever used this in my life. I've never used it in my life. I've never used it and I'm, I'm just going to say I probably don't care to use it. I really don't. I don't care. Okay, this is a random blush by e.l.f. I like these terracotta looking blushes. Exactly why I bought this CoverGirl one too. I'm not mad at this CoverGirl one. 
I don't feel like I, I don't need that blush by e.l.f. though. I definitely don't. I think I used it before and I didn't really like the tone of it. It looked different in the pan than it did on my face. I'm gonna bore you by going through all the boring shit, by the way. I'm just not. These little pencils and stuff are making me exhausted just looking at, it, really. So I'm gonna take out the big bulky products. Girl, why do I have this? Why do I have this? This is just like a sample of the silk canvas that I'm obviously getting rid of. Okay, this is a Rare Beauty eyeshadow palette that looks kind of pretty that I never have used. I think I'm gonna get rid of it because I've never used it. It's pretty though. I just like don't really wear eyeshadow and if I do, then it's like these Rare Beauty cream eyeshadows or it's the Z palette. I told you, like, it's like, I, I know what I like, okay? I know what I like. <laughs> because I'm a beauty blogger, I do like to try new makeup and stuff. I do experiment with new things that I'm drawn to, but I don't feel very obligated to, like, consistently diversify what I'm using, I guess, when it comes to skincare or makeup. Um, I kind of stick with what I know. And so, yeah, I love these, and I'll probably bring those to Florida. I kind of use them semi-regularly. I kind of use them, like, semi-regularly, if I wear an eyeshadow, it's literally that or the palette I showed you. Oh my God. Stop trying to make fetch work. I don't know. I have some products that I'm like, Jenny, oh, this is a, the putty blush. It's clearly just not the right color for me. Coral is just not my color. It's just got to go. Okay. This is the brow freeze. Do you remember Anastasia came out with this brow freeze? I actually really like this, but did it have its moment and leave? Possibly, but I'm going to keep it. Oh, this is the best gel eyeliner of all time. I mean, this one in the Maybelline, but I wound up buying the L'Oreal again. It's just a black gel eyeliner pot. I mean, it's the only black eyeliner I use. And if you were to tell me back in the day that I would be using this as like to apply black eyeliner, I would have never known that I would be able to develop that skill. Like I, I would always use the pencils and now all I use is gel and it's amazing. And I definitely need to bring it with me. Oh my God, I'm offended that I even have this. Lash Princess, goodbye, worst mascara ever, Pillow Talk palette. This is the bitch. This is the shit. It's gorgeous. And um, yeah, it's just gorgeous. I'm definitely obsessed with it and definitely it's coming with me at, at some point. Does it need to come in my suitcase? It's my suitcase pile. So far, that's what we have. Oh my gosh, all of these sticks right here. Well, this one this one can go. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, and it's amazing. I'm obsessed with this mascara, but it's gone. It's dried up. It's, 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 it's over. We are moving on. But it's the shit. It's very good. Okay, this is a cream highlighter by It Cosmetics. And it's really nice, actually. It's just, it's not very, it's right there, if you can see it. It's not like a pop highlighter which is what I normally like I, I normally like more of a pop highlighter okay so I had to go run in my makeup room and get something else because when I was talking about cream highlighters I realized there was another one I wanted to talk about that wasn't present and that is this one I just bought that is freaking stunning the what is it called Hollywood flawless filter by Charlotte Tilbury now if I were to have a cream bronzer which cream highlighter which I do now I want it to look like this. You know what's funny is people said you should use this as a freaking foundation. Who are these people? Are they babies? Do they not have a pore on their face? Because this emphasizes the shit out of texture, but it's gorgeous and you can use it as a highlighter. It's very natural. Can you even see it? I need to redo that. It's a very natural, creamy, amazing highlighter. Holy gorgeous. Obviously, and I, the reason I took the chance and the risk is because it comes in this travel size now. I had the full size. Back in the day when everyone said, you must try this, it's a must, it's a must. Well, I tried it, and I tried it as a foundation, and it was god-awful, so I returned it. But then I saw people all over the internet using it as a highlighter. I did not know we were using this as a highlighter. Yes, um, I'm going to get rid of this. It cosmetics one, actually, after this, because it's like, I mean, I already have a cream highlighter. And I can't believe I'm even entertaining keeping this Watts up. This was my favorite highlighter back in the day. Do you remember when everyone was like, oh yeah, it's Kim Kardashian's highlighter. It's a really nice champagne cream highlighter. It's gorgeous, actually. I, this is all I used for years, actually. But it's actually, I don't know if it's turned a little orange because of the age of it or what, but it's actually got to go. 
Now I'm gonna have to go through this bag and separate in between I can give away it's usable and just full on garbage. Even though I have so many products, I'm gonna have to throw all of them away, I don't know. Okay, next, this It Cosmetics Hello Lashes, is that what it's called? Just got this. I really like that this has a rubber thing on the handle because it makes it so easy to open and the brush is really nice. This is very, very comparable to the Pillow Talk push-up lashes, whatever. Both, same thing. Like, they're both for natural days, just they elongate the lashes, they don't thicken the lashes. They're very nice, and I will keep them both, but they don't need to be with me right away, I don't think. I don't think. Maybe one of them. Maybe one of them? I'll take the push-up one. Okay, next is this Charlotte Tilbury palette, bronze and glow. I really like this palette, actually, but I just kind of forget about it because I have so many things. Back to what I was saying, it's like when you have so many things, you forget about the things that you want to try or that you want to use that you liked at one point. You just forget about them. And so this is one of those products. The highlighter is like whatever. It's really not a, a highlighter. It's more of like a highlighter in terms of it lightens the area, but it doesn't make the area that glowy. But this bronzer is really nice and natural. I really enjoy it. This is a product I've never used. Rare Beauty Brow Situation. I'm not, I, I've never used it. That's all. I've just never used it. Okay, this is an hourglass ambient lighting powder and mood light. This used to be a thing. It used to be my thing probably three years ago, uh, three years ago or so. I used to love this product, but I haven't used it in so long, but I'm still hesitant to get rid of it because I'm like, well, I did like it at one point. Did I just forget about it? Is it just a product I forgot about or is it something that I just have grown out of? I've evolved past, you know, I don't know. So I'll probably keep it for now. Okay, these are the three, I think these are the three Rare Beauty blushes, cream blushes that I was sent. And I'm gonna assume that my color is the lightest color. So let's see, cause I do wanna bring one with me. This is called Hope. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of like dark as fuck, dark as fuck. Oh wow, it's so pink. It's so pink. Is this? Maybe you didn't need that much. It blends out very, like, <laughs> I need a towel. That was a lot. Well, did I do this wrong? Was that the wrong color for me? I mean, that's the darkest, the lightest color, I thought, but I don't like the tone. Let's look at the other two so I can create an even bigger mess. Okay, this is Believe and Encourage. So this is Encourage, this is Believe, this is slightly darker. Yeah, I need a towel. Okay, we're gonna try this again. So, this is Believe. I'm just putting a dot. This is Believe. Okay, one dot is okay. And this is Encourage. I like the tone of Encourage better. It looks like it has more brown undertones. But we shall see. Uh, to be honest, I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them. I'm not, I, I really don't like any of them. And that makes me sad to say because I really actually love rare beauty products. So let me try to do a dot of this first one. Let's go back to this one. Okay, maybe this one is it. Yeah. I'm just going to go with the first one and just go with a dot. So I'm going to bring this. It's hope. I'm going to bring that to Florida because I really want a cream blush because I know I'm going to want a cream blush because the only time I wear cream blush is when it's hot and humid and disgusting outside. I just like to put a dot of cream blush. So I'm going to definitely bring that. Good talk. Speaking of cream blushes, these hourglass cream blushes are my shit. Let me show you them. We've got Wonder, Loyal, and Devoted. They're all in that family of like nude, terracotta, prettiness. Is it dark in here? I don't know. Uh, they're all amazing. I love them all. This is like all I wore last summer. Okay, I try to do something slick and swatch them all at once. The middle one is my favorite. What's the middle one? Loyal. The middle one is my favorite because I always like a, a prefer a a more brown I like the middle one the most as of now I kind of forgot what my favorite was last year these are flipping amazing you know what I do I just put a dot on my beauty blender on my damp beauty blender and blend it out and it's so damn natural and yeah I'm gonna bring one which one do I want not this one I'm not bringing wonder I think loyal was the one I liked I'm bringing loyal nope oh, I'm bringing loyal Okay, good talk. I hope that's the right color. There was one color that I was just gravitating towards last summer, like every day I would wear that one. Okay, this is the Hourglass Highlighter, which I need to use. It's freaking gorgeous. It's literally gorgeous. I need to use this as a, it's a cream highlighter that I used like two times. 
probably because it was bogged down with all my other shit. Definitely bringing this. Oh, I'm packing the flawless filter, by the way. Definitely bringing that. Uh, these two rare beauty blushes I'm going to put in my go away pile. Shoo shoo. My girlfriend is in desperate need of blush. Maybe she can use one of those. Okay, these are the rare beauty bronzer sticks. I never vibed with them. I feel like they're too greasy actually uh they don't really dry matte they dry dewy and also the colors weren't really like for me the best okay so power boost that's the name of it power boost and happy soul okay this one is power boost and this one is happy soul so happy soul is like the darker the little bit of a darker one if I said that right, I don't know. Happy Soul is a little bit of a darker one, and I think I liked that one better because it just, the light one was too creamy. It emphasized texture. It got oily. I mean, they both did, but the lighter one really, it, it oxidized a lot throughout the day. So long story short, I don't want any of those. Okay, this is another cream blush. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics cream blush, the one I liked in Swoon. This is a pretty coral color but I and I'm not really accustomed to corals but when it spread I don't really like corals that much but when it spreads out you can see it gets more terracotta it's very pigmented same thing with this I just took a beauty damp beauty blender and applied it and I really liked it actually I'm gonna consider bringing it you know I don't know what I'm getting into I'm going straight from like a cold winter climate oopsie what the fuck is that a fuzz on me I'm so annoyed at fuzzes so I've got two more of these and then I've got a bunch of pencils, which I will go through in a like more sped up manner because we don't need to dwell on pencils that much. Famous last words, right? Okay, this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Oh, my batteries. My shit's overheating. Okay, so yes, I'm obviously bringing this because it's the best translucent loose setting powder of all time. It's very reliable. It airbrushes, it blurs, and it makes you look amazing. It ants me when I sit for too long. Okay. Ugh. Yes, I do not like this blush color as much, actually. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Cheek Swish and Glow. Oh, this is the Pillow Talk blush. You would think I would like this because I like all the Pillow Talk stuff, but actually it comes off as a little bit too cool toned for me. That swatch was so sad. Did that even swatch? You know, I can barely, you can barely see it, but that's what I like about those Cheek to Cheek blushes is because they are buildable and they are so light it's like you're never gonna get the thing with blushes i want a blush that's like a little bit more translucent not so see-through i definitely have a hair on my face because the thing is with blush you want it to look airbrushed you don't want to have like a big splooge of freaking blush that's hard to blend out or too pigmented i'm just i would rather have a blush that's more translucent that's why i like these cheek to chic um, blushes by Charlotte Tilbury, but the only issue is I just don't like this color as much as my ecstasy. Ecstasy is a good color for me. It's more of like a terracotta. This is, has like, I feel like a little bit more blue undertones that I just don't really vibe with, but I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm going to bring it. Okay. This is the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous powder, and it really does airbrush your face. I just haven't found the best way to use it maybe. I don't know. I think that it's like I need to just play with it more because it hasn't become like a staple. It hasn't surpassed my need for my MAC Mineralize skin finish as like a setting powder. It definitely doesn't replace my Laura Mercier setting powder. So I don't know if I just haven't found a space for it yet, you know. The Laguna brush by NARS. This is the only powder bronzer I have. I probably need more, but I love how dark brown this is. And I, I probably would like a bigger one of this because I love how brown it is. It's not orange. I feel like the lighting changes when I put a product up here. So yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it. It's dark. It's like more of like a neutral to dark brown situation. And I really like it. And I don't know, should I bring it? No, I'm not bringing it the first 30 days. I will bring it though. I will bring it. Oh my God. Don't tell me this is NARS deep throat. Okay. This is a blush that I don't need. Maybe my girlfriend liked that one. I'm desperate to get her a blush. Um, eyeshadow primer. This is the hourglass one. I mean, I don't, I don't really use eyeshadow primer that much because I've been using cream eyeshadows recently, but it's a good eyeshadow primer. Okay. Look at this hot mess of all these liners that we've got. We've got to take out all these liners and chat about them real quick. Oh yes. Yeah, so this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics hydrating under eye primer. I never fucking use this. The lighting is so weird. It's very hard to control lighting sometimes. Am I too close? I'm trying to manage many things. I'm trying to manage my coffee. I'm trying to manage these things. I'm trying to manage the lighting. So yes, I never freaking use this. Like <clears throat> the issue is 
when am I going to use this? Do you put this on before your foundation? Or do you put this on, like, because I put my concealer on after my foundation. So by the time I have, I'm going to put my concealer on or an eye product, it would be like, I already have my foundation on. So it's like, maybe I need to use this before my foundation. I never thought of that, really. Maybe I should try that. I'll keep it. I feel like I've gotten rid of a lot, you know? Okay, so the liners I have here, I don't want to dwell on them. Oh, this, this eyeliner, I mean, this... Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel, color brow gel, the mini one, it's too dark and I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm getting rid of that. Brown eyeliner I'm getting rid of. This is Kylie Cosmetics Coke OK. It's probably a liner I don't really need because I, I, I have other liners that, yeah, I don't like how her liners always do this, but other than that, I really liked her liners. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this. It's dried out. Oh, I just bought this. This is for the waterline by Revlon and I love it. I love how skinny it is. Like, look at how skinny that is. Definitely keeping that and it needs to come with me. This is Kylie Cosmetics Candy K liner. Obsessed with this. Definitely keeping it. Probably going to bring it. Um, this is my go-to brow pencil of the moment. This is the Goof Proof by Benefit. It's the one with the thicker pencil. I, I like those right now. I don't know. I always, I always change them up. Definitely got to bring this. I was having a moment and I bought this red eyeliner. I kind of want to see what it looks like because I've never used it because I'm like, when the fuck would I use this? Oh my God whoa this is kind of dope i feel like i should i can't see it because there's a there's a the stupid viewfinder i can't see it but i was trying to see it i can't see either eye it looks like i have pink eye pretty sure i don't know i think it could be kind of cool under the right circumstance no i look like i'm literally dying you know i might keep it though because what if i want to be a vampire one day you know what if i want to be a vampire one day I'm keeping it. I just decided. This I'm fucking getting rid of. I'm offended that I still have this. Oh, the Aveda dark green eyeliner, bitch. Move on. Move on. Oh, I love this lip liner, actually. This is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Butter Pecan. Very pretty. A pretty nude with like very brown undertones. Actually, it's brown everywhere. I'm bringing it to Miami. Oh, this is the Stay Golden Cosmetics. Like, this is the glitter lip kit. I love it, actually, even though it's very impractical, but who cares? It's a glitter lip kit. Obviously, it's impractical, and obviously, I'm keeping it. A status update. My uh, bag has ripped, so I'm going to need a new bag. That's fine. I'm still undecided about this Rare Beauty mascara. I mean, maybe I should just try it on right now so I know because I'm sick of deliberating. Ooh, okay. Okay. I'm not bad at this. Oh, I really like it. I like it. And look at, I love that the brush is bent. Did I do that or did it come that way? We don't know. Okay. I, I can't see in the viewfinder. That's really fucking annoying. It has this tracker that comes out every once in a while. And then, so there's like a square right over my eye. I can't even see it. But I do see it in the mirror and I like it. I'm keeping it. Perfect. I'm going to bring it actually. Oh no, I might have too many things that I'm bringing. Well, I'm going to bring multiple suitcases. I'm going to bring my big suitcase and my two carry-ons. So... So be it. Hello Talk lip liner, obsessed, bringing it to Miami, bringing it on the plane with me. I don't need this. This is like a burgundy liner that I barely ever used ever. It's like too purple. It's too purple. Should I try it? <laughs> Should I try it? I mean, the thing is, if I'm going to keep a red eyeliner, why wouldn't I keep a purple? Let's see. I mean, the fact that I never used it isn't. Oh, I kind of love it. I kind of love it, though. Oh, man. I never used it, but... Maybe I'll use it one day. I hate those lines. I hate those lines that I say. Maybe I'll use it one day. This I'm getting rid of. I'll get rid of. I can just commit to that right now. This is a brow pencil by It Cosmetics that like has no, why isn't it coming out? We don't know. Maybe it's dried out. It's got to go. Oh my gosh. Color Pop. I bought this literally a decade ago. I mean, not really, but this was supposed to be a dupe for like a Kylie Cosmetics. I forget which that was. I mean, the color's pretty, but it's just so not necessary. I'd rather just not have it my life would be better without it let's put it that way this is exposed by kylie cosmetics okay it's going in the garbage that's cool it's it's broken it used to actually want to be be one of my favorite colors this is brick or this is half red by mac it's like a great gorgeous like it is a half red it's just like a nice like dark red i'll bring it obviously i'm gonna bring it but i'm not gonna bring it too on the plane 
Okay, this is a liner I'm getting rid of. This is going well, actually. This is a uh, dead. It's dead. It was a burgundy infallible eyeliner by L'Oreal. It cosmetics that same product, the brow filler in the taupe, which is actually the right color for me, but I just don't know if I need it. I don't know if I need it. I'm not, I'm not vibing with that. This is a black gel eyeliner. I definitely need that. It's really good, actually. Look at that. One swipe. Everybody knows the rules. One swipe. So yeah, this is a superhero black gel eyeliner. Oopsie, definitely bringing that to Miami. Oh my God, it's official. I can't find my motherfucking brown eyeliner. Where the fuck is it? You guys, I went out of town this weekend and I could have sworn I brought my brown eyeliner. And then by the time I got there, I was like, oh my God, I don't have my brown eyeliner. I could have sworn I packed it. And I'm like, well, I probably didn't because I forgot everything this weekend. Do I look weird? I have multiple colors on my eyes. I have mascara on one eye and not on the other. I have red eyeliner and purple eyeliner. I don't know, this could be weird. So by the time I got there, I was like, oh my God, no brown eyeliner. Where the fuck is it? And then I figured I would find it when I got home and I haven't found it. And I'm like, where is it? Because it's seriously amazing. And now I'm going to have to send out a search party to try to find it because it's kind of unacceptable to not have it. Oh no, I'm getting rid of this. This is a random Kylie Cosmetics liner called Coconut that it's too cool toned. She definitely don't like that. This is L'Oreal. I think this is a L'Oreal brow pencil, but it's way too warm for the brows, bitch. Way too warm for the brows. But you know what it's amazing for? Do you want to know what it's amazing for? It's right. Let me just put it down here. You know what it's amazing for? Contouring the eye. I love on basic ass days where I'm doing no other makeup. I love just doing this on my eye like up here and down here, it gives it the nicest contour. It's so pretty, it's, especially for casual days. I'm bringing it on the plane. That's how important it is. This is a nasty ass black eyeliner from MAC that I need to get rid of because it's dried up and five years old. This, I, I, apparently I don't have, where the fuck is my, I gotta go through my other shit. So this is Beige by Bobbi Brown. Uh, as you can see, I, I just know that it is because I just, it's my favorite pencil of all time, and that's what it looks like. And I and this is I don't have a top to it. It's completely the writing is off of it, but I already know it's beige by Bobby Brown, and I'm probably gonna keep it because I don't see another one in here. Another black eyeliner I just bought because I didn't realize I had a black eyeliner, the superhero one. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Black Gel Eyeliner, which I'm definitely gonna keep. Okay, final fucking things. Uh, Babe Lash volumizing brow filler. Don't need that. Do not need that. Never used it. Tattoo Liner by Kat e, one of the best felt tip eyeliners I've ever tried. It never runs out. It's at least a year old. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's still going strong. It's still going strong, literally strong as hell. I love this product, keeping it. Well, I cannot find my brown eyeliner. It's Lancome, I just bought it. And I'm very annoyed. I'm gonna have to look a little bit harder, but um, okay, so the final two products I have, MAC Lip Liner and Ruby Woo. This is the ultimate red liner or red color I should say ever I think it's the most universally amazing red eyeliner that like every girl probably could use and like I feel like it's a lot of like girls go to red it's the best and the only red color I will use and I do prefer the liner because with red I, I should probably get the lipstick as well to fill in but you know with red liner with red lipstick you got to get that perfect shape so i just prefer the liner and it also stays longer but i don't know and then this is this is last but not least bad girl by nars i just recently discovered this and i'm addicted it's a crayon it's the most beautiful easy to wear creamy like nude type of shade i need both of those to come with me immediately to florida okay well that's it i think that's it this is all the stuff that i'm keeping i probably got rid of half my shit this is all the stuff i'm getting rid of Right here, I did decide to get rid of the Kat Von D palette and the Peach palette, just because I'm like, at least tentatively, you know, just tentatively. Okay, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to check out all the things I instructed you to check out. Everything will be linked in the description. Products will be listed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, loves.